Now I'm in another area you go through a gate and this is the this is what you see from here. Plenty of black headed gulls and jackdaws flying around. There's another hide out there. Might go out and see what the tide's doing. But anyhow we'll go around by here. Just to show you. Oh, here's the family of ducks. There we go. Seems to be two sets of ducks and the first mummy is uh, a bit limp. Anyhow, I'm going to stand up here and take this round. Oh, it's into the sun, I think. Where you can see it in the distance, perhaps. You can walk all around. This is a tufted duck. Looks as if she's just got one chick. Chicks better than them. I wonder did she have any more? I'll walk around a little more. I'm sure you can hear those black headed girls. They're probably nesting over there. And those in the distance, you can see one of the houses. I'll just show you the male mallard duck. We normally see um, lovely green hairs, and you can see he's molting. He <laughs> hasn't fully moved. When he does, he'll look quite like the female. Because, as I think I might have said to you, ducks, geese, and swans, they moult for two months, and when this happens, they can they just come a little bit further around. And you can see all the black headed girls. <coughs> There's some moorhens amongst them. Well, you can see those. And maybe zoom in a little bit more amongst them and uh, there's certainly jackdaws and there's some jackdaws so there we are just zooming in over here where there's a shell duck in the middle an adult and here as you can see the baby shell ducks quite Really, uh, teenagers maybe now. Not sure about in the night for food. And when the time comes, most of the shell dead adults will uh, fly away, and the babies probably will be left, and they're usually left with an adult called an auntie and uh, she will look after them. maybe two she will have them. so they're going to go into creches and they're looked after I'm walking up to the hide and I'll just stop this until I get inside and then we'll see what's on the other side feeling that the tide is out we won't see much at all well the tide is out so we're not really going to see any but I just thought I'd give you a bit of a view of And that hill away over there is Newton Ards, which we've gone, I've gone through to get here, and that tower is called Scrabble Tower. Yeah, when the tide comes in here, it comes in very quickly. One minute it's here, one minute it's not. This is known as the Ards Peninsula. And there are some girls sitting over here. And to my left, what I showed you just prior to this, uh, there's a wind. There's wind. I've come to. I've come to the window to the right. I'm going to photograph into the sun, so this may not be too good. And this is the other lake. Another lake. There's plenty more her um, back headed gulls squeaking away. There's two swans, mute swans. So it is a lovely place. I'm not going to walk out to that place today because I want to get to the caravan but I have got lovely photographs of it and I will show you that someday. This is another part of the pondage outside and I'm not going there today because I want to get down to this caravan and as I said I think in another one someday I 
show you photographs of this wonderful building here.